and subscribe. I'm bringing you football and basketball, both college and professional, making nearly daily videos. At least weekly, we're doing the college football. And lately, I've been doing college basketball on a daily basis. Be sure that you're following so that you don't miss any of our plays. With that being said, I will jump right in to the first play. We are going to look at Vanderbilt. Second play is going to be Middle Tennessee State, 10.5 point favorites at home versus Florida International. Florida International is 4 and 5 overall, but 1 and 5 in Conference USA. Meanwhile, Middle Tennessee is 2 and 7 overall, only 1 and 4 in Conference USA. FIU lost their last game at home to Jacksonville State in a very disappointing 41 to 16 loss. They failed to cover the spread in four of their last five games and looking more into them, they have quarterback issues. Last game they played Grayson James the majority of the game, but their former starter Keon Jenkins also saw eight snaps and overall he's thrown for six touchdowns but seven picks. So the question is, who's going to get the majority of the reps here? Do they have confidence in either of these guys? Last week, Middle Tennessee State, they battled hard against New Mexico State, but they did lose 13-7. Showed a very strong defense in this game, obviously struggled on the offensive end, but they did gain 346 yards in total offense. Overall, they averaged 22 points per game, and their biggest strength is their passing game as they ranked as they rank 40th in the country in yards per game. Their quarterback, Nicholas Vatiato, is versatile. Okay, He can do a little bit of passing, and he can run the ball as well. He's thrown for 2,334 yards, has 16 touchdowns to only nine picks, but he's also second on the team in rushing. Middle Tennessee State is at home here. They've done well at home. They beat Florida International last year. But what I really liked when I dug into this game was looking at their mutual opponent that they've both played, which is New Mexico State. Middle Tennessee State barely lost to them while Florida International got blown out by them. Florida International gives up 28 points per game, and Middle Tennessee State should be able to score and utilize a tough defense to cover this 10.5 point spread. Second play of the day is going to be Middle Tennessee State Minus 10.5 to cover it at home against Florida International. 